Alright, so today we'll be doing our series break. And uh, I, I was thinking kung unsay, unsay maayong i-share. And of course, it's very, very uh, obvious. Ngang i-share karon nga Sunday is about Resurrection Sunday. Because we don't want to miss this celebration. The whole world is celebrating, although some of them believe the wrong way. Okay, they're celebrating about the eggs and about uh, uh, Easter bunny. <laughs> okay, but we are not celebrating that. We are celebrating not just the symbol of life, but we are celebrating the resurrection of our king. He died once, and after three days, he rose from the dead. Okay, so he is our <clears throat> successful um, conquering king. So that would be our topic for today. The power of Jesus' sacrifice. The power of Jesus' sacrifice. So nabani power ang yang sacrifice. Kay permimanta during the Holy Week, murag sad kita tanan taon kay si Jesus murag nag-sacrifice pag ayo. So we are so sad. And sometimes we don't know if there is a power uh, as a result or as a fruit of Jesus Christ's sacrifice for us. So it's like, murag nagpabilin tang, murag sad, nga ha, luuyan ni Jesus. And then ako, luoy po ko, anyway, ingon ana po ng Krisyano, mag-sacrifice kay maulagi si Jesus gani. So, Usahay the whole year or even the whole month of April, mabiyaan ta dito ba nga murag puro sacrifice mode and murag luoy nga mode, kaayo, uh, emo mode uh, ang ato ipakita okay, because of that sacrifice. But we want to know and we want to be reminded today that there is power. There is power of Jesus' sacrifices. Nay power ang iyang sacrifices. So let's open our Bibles in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1 to chapter 54. Yay, taas saan eh. Duhan hindi ka chapter. Okay. Uh, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1 to chapter 54, verse 1 to 3. Okay. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1 to chapter 54, verse 1 to 3. So at least, at least um, ang atuang pagbasa sa Bible, magsigig continue every Sunday. So nakalimot ka o basa at least one chapter uh, this, this week. At least makabasa ta o more than a chapter. Okay? Say yes if you are ready. Yay, kanindot sa celebration. Yes, kaayo. Okay, so verse 1. Who has believed? Now, now imagine this. Imagine this. This is the description of, of what Jesus did for you and me. This whole chapter, 53. Mauni ang description kung unsang klase gibuhat ni Jesus sa atua. Okay? Don't think nga murag uh, prophet lang ni siyang gidescribe. No, it was Jesus who was being described here. Wala pa si Jesus, of course. More than, more than 500 years uh, ang, ang silence, remember, From Malachi or from from Isaiah, it, it was maybe I could say that close to 600 years. Uh, Usa pa na na natao si Jesus Christ, but it was being prophesied by Prophet Isaiah, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, and at the same time, ang iyang mga sacrifices. So his sacrifices was being described here, and imagine Jesus Christ did this for you and me. Uh, for the, in the very first place. His heavenly Father is our Father in heaven. Told Jesus that this gonna be your mission. All right. So, kita gaan na siya o kanang orientation. Ng mga oni ang mahitabo sa imua. And long before, ang mga Israelite people knew already when when the King arrives, when the Messiah arrives, this gonna be his description. Iya, mga oni ang description sa Messiah. So, verse one to chapter fifty-four. Who has believed what he has heard from us? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form. Was Jesus attractive? According to this verse, he had no form or majesty that we should look at him 
no beauty that we should desire Him. So people hate Jesus because He has no beauty. Jesus was not desirable because His life on earth was filled with sacrifices. And that is grace. That is grace. Verse 3, He was despised and rejected by men. Men, you and me, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and as one from whom men hide their faces. He was despised. He was neglected. He was rejected. He was despised. He's not the end of the group. He's outcast. He was despised and we esteemed him not. No honor, no respect. Esteemed him not. Verse 4. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. That's the revelation that he had those sadness and um, he has those sacrifices and sorrows. Not because of him, his actions and, and behavior and attitude towards people. But because of our, our bad actions and bad motivations and sin in life so we esteemed him stricken smitten by God and afflicted but he was pierced of our transgressions thank you Lord he was crushed for our iniquities upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace the equivalent of his sacrifices gives us peace and his wounds we are healed. And we believe that this, this wounds that being declared in the Bible, that according to him, his wounds, we are healed, is not just spiritual healing, but including our emotions and even our physical healing. We can claim that through the wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ. We cannot put a limit on the power of his wounds because we are compartmentalize nga maura ni ang kaya, maura ni gibuhat. Yes, we can think that the wounds that Jesus Christ bore on the cross was first and foremost for our spiritual healing. But, you can claim even for your emotional and physical healing. Spiritual healing is not possible to be healed without the wounds and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is impossible. We cannot heal. No doctors, no physician can heal that. But because of what Jesus did for us on the cross, that spiritual wounds becomes healed or possible healing of that spiritual wounds comes in our lives because of Jesus Christ chastisement and He was being pierced with our iniquities and He was wounded for us to be healed spiritually, and I believe emotionally, and I believe even physically. Verse 6, All we like sheep has gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has, has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's a picture of Jesus. He was oppressed, he was afflicted, and he was so silent. He did not open his mouth. Verse 8, by oppression and judgment he was taken away. As for his generation who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. Amazing. He was stricken for not his transgression, but our transgression. Verse 9, and they made his grave with the wicked. Remember, three tombs. Okay, three criminals, uh, two criminals together with Jesus. They made this grave with the wicked. Okay, two criminals with him. With a rich man in his death. That was uh, Joseph in Arimathea. Bought his body to be buried in a rich tomb. Although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. He was sinless, perfect, Jesus Christ. But because of our sins, okay, he died. Verse 10, 
Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him. Our Heavenly Father did not rescue Jesus Christ on the cross. Because it was the will of the Father. That's how big and that's, that's how high and how deep is the love of God for us. He can rescue His one and only Son, Jesus Christ. He can send thousands and dilima, dilima, count ng mga angels to just crush those people who crucified Jesus. But He did not do that. Our Heavenly Father, He did not, he did not send His angels to protect Jesus because it was the will of the Father to crush Him. Why? Because of our sins. He has put Him to grief. When his soul makes an offering for guilt, he has seen his offspring. He shall prolong his days. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Verse 11. Out of the anguish of his soul, he shall see and be satisfied. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous. Make many to be accounted righteous because of Jesus Christ's sacrifices and death. And he shall bear the iniquities, their iniquities, our iniquities. Verse 12, therefore, therefore, I will drive him a portion with the many and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors, yet he bore the sin of many and makes intercession for the transgressors. But it was not the last line of that chapter. We can continue. Chapter 54, verse 1 to 3. Sing, O barren one, who did not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who have not been in labor, for the children of the desolate one will be more than the children of her who is married, says the Lord. Enlarge. Say enlarge. Enlarge the place of your tent. And let, let the curtains of your habitations be stretched out. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords and lengthen your stakes. For you will spread abroad to the right and to the left. And your offspring will possess the nations and will people the desolate cities. I oftentimes hear this statement. Ang statement sa kasagaran, especially ka ng mga nag-gym ba? Alright? So ako, uh, ganahan ko mag-gym pero wap ako baka <laughs> siguro ma-count ma lang in, in one hand. Ang akong pag sa gym. but ka itong mga nag-gym, sige sila, to drive, to motivate themselves, they keep on saying, no pain, no gain. Di ba? Mga na iperming isulti sa mga nag-gym, no pain, no gain. So, murag, ah, should be, ah, mo, 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 kinahanglan na ako yung pain so that I will gain uh, my shape or maybe health or kanang, kanang lindot lang siya tanahon. So, no pain, no gain. Kanya, kung naay maglisod, Gani niya na in pain and 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 you are you have this goal to reach something or to to hit that goal so murag it's 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 better to give your sacrifices today because no pain di ba no pain no gain but i will tell you today okay i will tell you today this is the 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 title of this preaching today his pain okay his pain my gain can you declare that? His pain, my gain. With conviction, one, two, three, go. His pain, my gain. Clap your hands to God if you believe that. I don't have to bore pain. I don't have to go through a lot of pains just to get what I have today. I don't need to go through a lot of pains and sufferings in life. Sometimes we thought that we need to go through a lot of suffering so that we will be blessed by God. No, I would tell you, ayaw nagsayang ay mong oras. Because His pain, Jesus Christ's pain is your gain. Jesus Christ's pain is your blessing. Jesus Christ's pain is your breakthrough. Come on, clap your hands to God. If you know that this is true, His pain 
my gain. His pain, my gain. It, it's like, kinabitang, kinabitang sa ato mga anak, di ba? Tanawa, i-observe lang. Because I believe that all of us are responsible parents. Okay? We're responsible parents. So, tanawa ang itsura sa ato mga anak. Less kayo ang ilang pain, less kayo ang ilang sufferings. In fact, sometimes wala ganit suffering. Kung mo suffer ang itong mga anak, mo na yun. Gaming init, ah, mapa, what a kabayan? Nga nung mga under like tech fan, di ba, mo na yun. Kay, kay dili sila used to suffer and they don't used to have some kind of pain. Alright? So, so yun, nag-ana sa Netflix, uh, di mo kuan, ah, pa, wabon mo under, so what a kabayan? So, uh, that, that's why, Less kaayo ang ilang sacrifices, less kaayo ang tanang pain and sufferings and sacrifices na sa mga parents. It's like that, our picture in Jesus. Our picture in God. All that we go through today is not walay 1% sa gisuffer ni Jesus Christ. Nga nung iyang gibuhat na tanan. Because we are His people. His pain our gain, His pain, our breakthrough, His pain, our blessing. Katong describe sa chapter 53, nga grabe kayong description about the sufferings of Jesus Christ, the sufferings of Messiah, that he, there was no beauty in Him. Uh, you cannot find beauty in Jesus because grabe ang mga, ang mga He was wounded and, and He was crushed and he was, he was being pierced and He was being beaten because of our sinfulness. Grabe ang bloodshed ni Jesus Christ, dili lang sa iyang kilid, but even from head to toe, ang iyang bloodshed. So you cannot see the beauty of Jesus. You cannot even recognize Jesus Christ during that time. Walay makarecognize ha? Si Jesus ba na? Adi siguro, ay grabe ha. Waji attraction, waji, waji. Ang shape siguro, shape lang tao, pero dili ka makita sa iyang itsura yun because he was filled with blood. He was filled with wounds and scars all over his body from head to toe. Ang mga ni kagrabe ni Jesus Christ. But he bore that pain thinking that our situation today will be lightened up. But I was so shocked, I was so amazed why how people responded to the sacrifices of Jesus. Okay? People believes, okay, that the sacrifices of Jesus is not enough. That's why people wanted to sacrifice like what Jesus did. But our faith as Christians, we know that the sacrifices of Jesus is more than enough of what we need. He, it was more than enough. The pain that He bore, the pain that He has, all of His experience, all those painful experiences, less love, less uh, acceptance. He was rejected. He was not being respected and honored. But it's okay. Why? Because He has to bore all the pains Okay, because he was thinking of you and me. Now, if we want to honor God, it means that we don't need to go through a lot of sacrifices and pain for us to be, for us to be blessed, for us to have breakthrough. Jesus Christ did that for you and me, and it is finished. Christ bore the pain for us to live. Christ bore the pain for us to have to be blessed. It is finished. Ano nga ito pa bang sumpayan? Oh, pastor, kung sa di ako attitude, Pastor, your attitude should be thinking like, His pain, my gain. His pain, my gain. This is the result of what Jesus did for you and me. Chapter 53. He said, it's now time to sing for joy in chapter 54. Christ's suffering was like the birthing pain. The birthing pain. Ang mga, ang mga moms, baka relate ani. It's not easy. I, I, I don't know the pain, but according sa pag-explain sa akong wife, it was so painful. But you need to accept it. But you need to enjoy it. Ako unang 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 ba, ha? Iimong enjoy ang pain? Parang lisura ay, pero mauna iyang, mang-encourage iyang kaugalingon kay nakatulog mi ka anak, okay? 
Okay? So, i-encourage niya yung kagalingon, I need to accept this. I need to go through this. Okay? It was, it, it, it has a lot of pain. Ang birthing pain, it's not easy, but she has to enjoy it according to her. She has to enjoy it. Why? Because it was a birthing pain. Because the baby is about to be born and we are so excited. New life is about to be born. New life is about to come out. That's why he, she has to go through that, that birthing pain. It's like Jesus Christ. It's okay that he bore the pain. He sacrificed a lot because it was a birthing pain. He, 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 it was so painful, but it was a birthing pain. Christianity is about to be born. That's why Jesus Christ was excited. It's okay to have this pain, even though I don't have, I don't have to gain uh, from the result of this pain. But I'm thinking of, of these people who would come to know me and who would come to embrace me and who would come to believe me. It's okay to bore this pain because this is just a birthing pain. Pain and Christianity in the whole world is about to be born. And we became Christian now. Why? Because of that pain. His pain, my gain. His pain, your gain. Come on, clap your hands to God if you appreciate His pain. <laughs> Birthing pain. Birthing pain. That's why in chapter 54, verse 1, being on see God. Oh, don't be sad. Don't be sad because this is not the time of sadness. This is not the time of insecurity. This is not the time of uncertainty. This is the time of singing. That's why he said in verse 1, Oh, sing, O barren one. If you are barren, meaning to say if you are unfruitful, sing, O unfruitful one. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. Sing. Break forth. Cry aloud. Israel was like a woman who had no children and was suffering from unfruitfulness. While a success, while a progress, they were stagnant at that time. They were unfruitful at that time. Nga naman. Wala Messiah ni Abot. 500 years of silence. Was not easy. It's not easy. Kana na magpray ganita. Unya five days palang gani. Di na bangga easy. Nagpray ta. Adu gayam tubag di Lordoy. Pila nabdi kakadlo nagpray or katuig. Di li tuig goy five days palang. Murag. Nya sila. 500 years before Jesus Christ came. Okay? So they, they are in pain. They were waiting. And not patiently, a lot of them murag ni backslide na sa ilang mga faith because wali abot ni mas, na Messiah. They were so unfruitful. No progress. No progress. But in fact, what they have is slavery. They were being enslaved from one nation to another. And before Jesus Christ came, they were being enslaved by the Roman Empire. They are not a nation. They don't have an, an identity as a nation. They are under a Roman Empire. They cannot perform their own duties and responsibilities. They cannot. They are under the, the command of the Roman leader. And they submit to the authority, Roman authorities. That's why they cannot see progress. They cannot see fruitfulness. They cannot see anything that has progress and movement in their lives. It seems like they were so stuck as a slave people. They were so stuck as a, as a person or a people or a nation. That's why when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, it was a declaration in verse 1, chapter 4 in Isaiah. Sing, sing, O barren one who did not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud because I have won the battle. Because I have won the victory. 
Jesus Christ was telling his people, you need to sing. Every time you think of the Resurrection Sunday, don't be sad. You need to break forth into singing. Be happy. Be glad. Why? Because the pain that Jesus Christ bore, in, in, not just in the cross, but even before the cross, is for your benefit, is for your fruitfulness, is for your progress. Clap your hands to God if you believe that, that we need to sing because He won the victory for us. Sing, break forth, and cry aloud because we are not in a state of mourning. We are in a state of celebration. 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 Because His sufferings enabled us to have many, many children, many fruit. And so on. Usa pa kinahanglan na to i-mention to connect that singing again on the Jesus Christ. Because His pain is our gain. His pain, my gain. Again, in the spirit, the spirit of joy, when we say His pain, my gain, it is the spirit of joy and celebration because I am now free from the curse of unfruitfulness. Pastor, dili ko fruitful. Pastor, dili ko productive. Do you forget that Jesus Christ bore, bore that pain for you to be fruitful? Why are you keep on claiming that you are, you are not productive and you are not fruitful? Don't you believe that there is power in His resurrection? He bore the pain for you. His pain is for your fruitfulness. His pain is for your gain. His pain is for us to have breakthrough. Stop claiming that you are not fruitful. Stop claiming that you don't have any progress. Stop claiming that you don't have any increase. Stop claiming that. This is the time that we will claim to celebrate and dance because His pain is our gain. Come on now. His pain is our gain. When the enemy told you that you are unproductive, when the enemy told, tells you that you are unfruitful, don't believe with the enemy. Because according to the Word of God, oh, sing, oh, unproductive woman or man. Sing because this is now the time of your fruitfulness. This is now the time of your productivity. Because I have won the battle of your unfruitfulness. I have won the victory for you. Stop declaring that you are not fruitful. You are. You are. Your boss would say, I think you are not fruitful this year. No. I am. Why? Because Jesus Christ said, sing. Because this is now the time of my fruitfulness. This is not the time of unfruitfulness and unproductivity. This is the time of fruitfulness. Bear fruit. Bear fruit. Not just, not just less, not just once, but bear fruit more and more fruit. Bear fruit in your workplace. Bear fruit in your family. Bear fruit in anywhere you go. Bear much fruit. 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 This is the time. This is the... Can, can we declare this? This is the year. Come on now. This is the year of my fruitfulness. Okay? Uh, one more. One more. One more. Okay? One, two, three, go. This is the year of my fruitfulness. Clap your hands to God if you believe that. We stop declaring and fruitfulness because Jesus Christ bore the pain for us to be fruitful. Now, if you say that you are fruitful, be prepared for verse 2. <laughs> this is so exciting. Be prepared for verse 2. If you know and you are convinced and you believe that you need to sing and rejoice because this is the year of your fruitfulness. Verse 2. God said, because of His pain... And I have gain of his pain. Verse 2. Enlarge. Say enlarge. Enlarge the place of your tent. This is so great. 
and let the curtains of habitations be stretched out. Do not hold back, meaning to say never stop. Don't hold back, don't stop. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. I'm sad if I hear that this, for you, this is just spiritual. I will be sad. And I think Jesus Christ would be sad. Because you will say, Ah, pastor, can I lengthen your cords? Maybe I think this is just spiritual. It will not apply. You know what, one day, there's someone who gave this comment. Okay? Yun siya, yun siya nga, yun siya nga, ang katong gisulti sa Old Testament will not apply to our lives today. Aha? Aha? So, katong gisulti sa Old Testament, so kao ba na ning gi-prophesy? Tanan, from Genesis to Malachi, katong gisulti sa Old Testament, it was being declared for the first, okay, for the first audience and listeners. And it's not applicable for us today. So, may ingaw po ta, oh, oh, bitaw no, oh, bitaw no, oh, oh, bitaw no. What bitaw no? What? You're putting a limitation of the power of the Word of God? According to His Word, His Word is like a double-edged sword. And His Word is powerful. And the truth and all the principles and truth that we get from the Word of God is applicable not just for the nation of Israel, but even to your tribe, even to your family, even to us now and a thousand generations from us. If you believe that God's promises and declaration from Old Testament and to New Testament is still applicable to our generation today and thousands of generations shout and clap your hands to God because His Word is alive. His word is alive. He's not dead. Kung si Jesus wala mas resurrect, His word is dead. But because He resurrected after three days, together with Jesus, because He is our God, His words are true, and His words are still powerful, and His words is living Inactive. Verse 2. Enlarge the place of your tent. And let the curtains of habitations be stretched out. Do not hold back. When God says do not hold back, don't stop. Don't stop believing. Don't stop pushing. Don't stop embracing me. Don't stop moving forward. Lengthen your cords. What do we mean by this enlarge? We keep on saying enlarge. What do we mean by that? In other words, you need to enlarge our tent. Okay, we need to enlarge the capacity of our mind because what God is about to do is mind blowing. Okay, we need to enlarge the capacity of our mind. We need to enlarge the capacity of our vision. We need to enlarge the capacity of our heart. We need to enlarge the capacity of our emotions. And we need to enlarge even our houses and our places because of what? You believe that his pain is your gain. His pain is my gain. So in other words, we need to be prepared and, and think big. Think big. Think big. Because our God has been resurrected from the dead. It's not small thinking now. It's now the time of thinking big. Enlarge. Increase. Think big. Think big. If you are thinking one, think three. Think ten. If you are thinking just few, think many. Think many. If you are thinking one miracle, think ten or twenty miracles in your life. And you are thinking one breakthrough, think innumerable breakthroughs. Clap your hands to God if this is your faith. His pain, my gain. 
So I gain expansion. So start today. I will think big. I will think increase. I will think grow. Pastor, ang mga churches ba yan kay, kay pandemic? Daga mga churches nag-close. Daga mga churches nang amatay. So unsay atong buhaton, Pastor? Tingalik mag-ECQ na po da. Hala, mag-lockdown na po da. Tingalik mamatay ang church. What? You're not thinking big. You don't believe what Jesus Christ did for you and me? He just pain is our gain? God will not plant a church that one encounter, one crisis, the church will die. Remember what he said in his word, and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. The kingdom of God is advancing, and we are moving towards the north, and we are moving towards the south. Think big. Enlarge, increase. Come on, let's clap our hands to God because the province of Cebu is for God. Think big. Enlarge. Enlarge. Stop thinking one. Start to think three. Start to think more. Start to think more. 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 If you're believing God for just 80 years to live, start to believe God for, for 100 years. Okay? Para makadawat pa ka o kinang reward sa government. Although wala na kay kaila. Okay? Start to think. Start to believe God. In your business, start to believe God. In your career, start to believe God. God says, sing. This is the year of your fruitfulness. And God says, enlarge. This is growth. This is progress. This is increase. Stop thinking. This is small thinking. Small thinking. What? Stop doing that. Believe that his pain is my gain, is your gain. Believe that His pain is our breakthrough. Believe that His pain is our growth. Believe that. Ako di ko ka-serve ni Lord. Ako di ko ka-preach of gospel. Kaya nga ni ko manggiwawo. No, stop declaring that. Stop declaring that. Because you gained the pain He bore on the cross. And He resurrected for, to tell us that, Hey, you are victorious, my son. Hey, you are victorious, my daughter. Hey, you are more than what you think of yourself. I want, to, I want to rephrase that. You are more than what you think of yourself. You are more than what you think of yourself because God defined you as a person who's being loved by God. Think big. Enlarge. Say enlarge. Oh, thank you, Lord. Enlarge. Enlarge. And you know what? That's the, that's my, that's the truth that I'm embracing. What we're thinking of doing church plant. Not next year. Not in the middle of the year. Not if we have herd immunity. But for next month, we're thinking of church plan. Pastor, will up the herd immunity? What? Enlarge. Think big. Enlarge, increase, enlarge, grow, enlarge, expect, enlarge, believe, enlarge. Come on, oh God is alive and active and he is. His pain, my gain. Verse 3, look at this. If we believe that this is the time of our fruitfulness and so we need to be prepared and start to think big. And start to think enlarge. Verse 3. Why? 
for you will spread abroad to the right and to the left. Not just to the right, but to the left. Not just to the left, but to the right. If you want to art in front and back, it's okay. It depends on your faith. You will spread to the left and to the right. You will spread to the, to the right and to the left. And your offspring, your influence, your sphere of influence will possess the nations and will people the desolate cities. When the Bible says spread, meaning to say spread to the right and to the left, not settle in one city, not settle in just one business, not settle in just one little relationship. Make that relationship become godly and bigger because you will spread. Your influence will become larger. Will in, your influence will become bigger. Start to think big because you will spread. Not just one city, not just one place, but cities and nation and not be no room enough for to contain the breakthroughs that we may have. Come on, go ahead, clap your hands to God. You will spread. You will spread. You know what? I'm, I was not thinking of, before I was not thinking of planting a church. I was kind of satisfied to give a support to my senior pastor for how many years? Because for me, it's too much. Kung plant of church, too much. Di na ko kaya. So that was my thinking. Di na ko kaya. But God proved me wrong. God proved me wrong. Tingnan si God sa ako, kisa gaingon ni mo, it's too much. You put limit on my power? That will work on you? Who told you it's too much? Who told you that God can just use you right here in that small little influence and small little place? Who told you that? God did not tell you that. God told us, I bore the pain. There is power in my sufferings. There is power in my pain. You need to start thinking big and thinking increase and thinking Growth because you will spread according to the word of God. You will spread to the right and to the left. And your offspring will possess the nations and will people the desolate cities. Katong mga dry, dead cities, dry and dead places, dry and dead businesses, you will possess. You will stay. You will dwell and make revival come to that place in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, clap your hands to God if you understand that. His pain, my gain. I gain the generation that are not ashamed to spread the gospel and invade and revive dead and abandoned cities and places. Start to think. We will invade and we will revive the abandoned and stagnant cities and places and we will make them grow. We will make them grow by the power of of Jesus Christ, pain. His pain, my gain. Stop believing that you are stagnant and you're stuck with that position or that kind of influence. Enlarge. Think big. Spread to the right and to the left. Wap amahuman si God sa imuha. I have a good news for all of us. Because you are still alive, God is not done yet sa imong kinabuhi. Ay pagbutag period, diri na lang ko kay dugay naman siguro ko nga ing ani naman akong edad so diri lang jud ko kuto. Ba? Mo pa gani nagbutang si God og period, di periodo na nimo imong kinabuhi. As long as you're alive, God is not done yet. His pain, my gain. His pain, my blessing. His pain, my progress. His pain, my breakthrough. His pain, my blessings. Come on, let's clap our hands to God because He bore the pain for us to increase. Christ, I want to read this. Christ's suffering 
makes us sing and rejoice. Thank you, Lord, because the power of what he did brings freedom, brings progress, brings increase in our lives. Thank you, God, for bearing the pain for us all because it has freedom. We are now free from any condemnation. We are now free from any sin. We are now free from any guilt. We are now free from any sadness. We are now free from any destructions and anything that could destroy our lives. We are now, we are now free and we can live above them because God's Christ's sufferings brings us freedom progress and increase freedom from any kinds of addiction freedom from any kinds of sinful lifestyle freedom from any kinds of those things that could push you down you're free that's the power of his pain this is the celebration of the resurrection sunday he bore the pain for us not for nothing, but he bore the pain for us, for our gain. This is the right attitude. We're not losers. We're victorious. Not because we motivate ourselves. Not because of our position, title, and status. No, but because of his pain. Because of his pain, I'm standing. Because of his pain, I'm restored. Because of his pain, I'm speaking to you. Because of his pain, I have this gain. Come on, once more, clap your hands to God and shout, Yay! Thank you, Lord! Our King has been resurrected, and this is now the time of celebration and declaration of our faith. I am blessed. I have breakthrough. My lives will be accompanied by miracles and signs and wonders. When I pray to my family, they will be blessed. When I pray to the sick, they will get healed. When I pray breakthrough, there will be breakthrough. Come on, let's continue to celebrate and clap our hands to God.